Well, welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. One of our participants asked me uh, to talk about jealousy. So that's the topic of the day, jealousy. Where does it come from? What's the roots of it? What creates and instigate this sensation, this feeling of getting jealous. And there's, I don't think there's a single human being on this planet who has never experienced it. I mean, we all, there are moments that something happens and you may experience jealousy. And you want to treat it just like any other emotions. Once you get trained of how to look at things, how to observe your emotions, how to be the witness of the emotions and not identifying with them. Now, there are people who may experience it a lot more. It could be deeper in their fabric of their being, in their psyche. Actually, that's a better word that they get jealous a lot and they act upon it. Some people may say, well, I never get jealous or I don't experience it. I, I don't believe that because I have experienced it and uh, everyone experiences it. Now, how much you're feeding it is a different story. How much you get really identified with it, it's a different story, but it can arise and it goes away, just like anything else in life, any other emotion. Now, the roots of it, basically, if you really, uh, it's taking over you and you experience it on a regular basis, is really goes back into the lack of understanding. That's what really jealousy is. It roots into not understanding the truth of who you are. And because it brings insecurities and brings a sense that somebody's got something, somebody has something, let's say your best friend, your sister, your brother, just married their, the, the love of their lives. And they're very happy and, and they're flying on this love. And, and you, you have not met the love of your life. And naturally, you may feel jealous. And you're trying to act like you're cool and you're not you're pretending to be happy for them, but down deep, you're suffering and you're experiencing the jealousy. And, you know, jealousy could be in all different levels, but you may be experiencing it. But that goes back to a sense that there's a lack. Either you may feel like you're not good enough. You're not worthy to have what your friend has or deeper than that is the not understanding that existence is actually operating in perfection despite what it seems to be. What it seems to be that there's a lot of screwed up things in the world. It seems to be that the world is not fair. It seems to be that the creator of this world has cruel, cruelty in it or created imbalance. But when the understanding gets deeper, you realize that none of it is true. It's merely an expression of the absolute. It, it's merely what the consciousness, God, the creator, the source, is experiencing itself in millions and millions of different forms and different events 
to experience the moment from different bodies, from different objects. So it can be sensed and touched and smelled and felt. And the deeper the understanding, the more you begin to understand that the roots of this jealousy is connected to a sense of separation, that I am separated from the source, I'm an independent person with my own free will and with my own shortcomings or good luck or bad luck, separated and Therefore, I'm responsible for this or other people are responsible for what they're doing. And I didn't get what I deserve to get and somebody else got it. So that's the mentality. But when the understanding starts to get deeper and, and you come across this awareness, and you begin to look deeper within, and you start to see that jealousy is just thoughts or an emotion. And it doesn't last long. And it's also indicating that you're not complete. It's indicating that there is something missing in your life. And your brother, your sister, maybe inherited more money or land or homes or whatever, and you didn't get your share, or your parents favored your younger sister, your brother, and they didn't, you didn't get, they love that person more than you do. They, they love you, and that person got more than you. And of, naturally, you may feel jealous. But when you trace it back into the absolute truth, an understanding starts to come, which is this process. It could be painful for some people. It could you may it may take a lifetime to get to it. But if you're sincere and you're digging deep, you realize that. Each and every person in this life will get exactly what the source chooses to get. So whatever I possess in this life or wherever I'm at, whether I'm successful or I'm a failure, whether I'm wealthy or I'm not, um, it's exactly what existence chooses to give me. And that's it. I can't have more, I can't have less. Because you get to see that there is nothing else but the source. Consciousness is the only thing there is. And it manifests itself in different forms different shapes, different scenarios. And in this case, this is all I have. This is all I get. It's not going to be more. It's not going to be less. So the more I start to understand this, the more I relax into who I am and what I've got. And the less I pay attention to what other people have. And the less I compare myself to anyone else. Now, I'm not saying that it's not good to look around and, and not have the desire or motivation on improvements. I'm not talking about that. Of course, we all want more. We want to improve. We all want to be better, whatever our perception of being better is. 